Make your choice. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I clicked I will accept your gift and become a vampire, and I was probably <laughs> suckled upon, and my game crashed. Let's see if this happens again, because this will be a major gaming issue if we cannot continue from this point on. Be still. Sure. Okay. I think we're all right now. <laughs> and, uh, wow. Cool. Technical issues Awake will happen. Last. Good. The power is growing within you, and now you must learn to wield. I notice I have vampire powers and uh, herpes. Is that part of your curse slash gift? With my guidance, you will become a deadly instrument, <laughs> striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and okay. do as I instruct. Got you. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the vampire. Lord, assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord, and we will continue. Okay. Just, uh... Just... Check out my powers. the power of the ancient blood to transform into a vampire lord. Cool. Alright, what's up? Form, oh, we're floating. You can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night. To turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. Should you run out of magicka, you can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts do. Do so now, and we will continue. Okay. Land on the ground. Good. All right. You are weaker while on the ground because you cannot access the blood magic. However, the night powers are still yours to command, and your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength, and you will find new ways to use your gifts. It's like a little bat wings with the vampire head. Okay, I just gotta go around sucking on some dudes. What else is new? that combat you're surrounded by a cloud of bats that feed on enemies with melee range within melee range Ooh. corpse curse me likey all right what's next my vampire lord there is much to learn but if you master the powers of the Vampire Lord, few enemies will be able to stand against you. Here is one last thing you must know. 
slaying mortal men. Well. Your life drain grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle, should you need to feed like the base of the world to stave off the Oh, neat. If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have Thank a task that will test your new powers. But first, do you have any questions? Yes, where is the blood and how do I get it in my mouth? Good. Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Tell him it is time. He will understand. Cool. Thank you. Now this guy right here, he looks like a... Kill this guy. <laughs> Tasty. Look at him died right on his knees. Yeah, hey, now it's your turn. To feast. Where do I see my blood count? Alright. Well, it's fun killing you. Too long to be bothered with them. I could change it for if you want. I saw more than enough. Pol yeah. What do you want, me boy? It's me. I was joking. I was in bad form, but it's me. I have never understood the Nord fascination with weapons. Magic is so much more versatile, don't you think? Sure. Lord Harkon, remember your place. Now what is our Lord's wish? He said I can just call you Harkon. Well, well. He wants the chalice then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? It is a rather well-kept secret. The Chalice has been in Lord Harkin's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now, then grander things are afoot. This is good. Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord Harkon has never right. cared to use the chalice, relying on his more than adequate powers until now. This is an intriguing change. He kisses ass more. He's so powerful, he's so cool. He's my best friend and so much more, I love him. Excuse us. I need to fetch the Bloodstone Chalice. Somebody chalice. give that dog a bath. Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheof. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the chalice. Really? Indeed. 
He's off to Redwater Den. Best of luck to you. Then Galmo and Ortheol are Harkin's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. <sighs> You're cute. Here we are. Oh yes, here we are indeed. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the blood spring that is the source of Red Water Den. But enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Red Water Den has fallen into Let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Hurry back. You don't want to keep Lord Harkon waiting. Are you a ginger vampire? I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. I don't like you. Ginger. Yeah, that's right, get the hell out of here. Oh! Wow, I can't even take a loot. Jam out. What does that mean? Oh. Still here. Because she has no opinion on my uh, new way of life. But I don't mind. As long as she don't mind, we're all good. You are looking mighty tasty. <laughs> <laughs> 